is the fifth section of chapter 12 on differentiation and this section is on differentiating functions with two or more terms. So there's only a couple of things we need to know for this. The first thing is we differentiate term by term. So it, look at each term and differentiate it. Um, don't try and do it all at once. So look at it's like lots of questions all in one. And the second thing is uh, any terms that are not written in the form x to the power n, we need to convert them into that form. So, for example, if I had 1 over x squared, we write as x to the power negative 2. If I had the square root of x, I'd write as x to the power a half. Then if I had something like this, 2 over cube root of x, I'd write that as 2x to the power negative a third. So we always want to write it in this form like this so that we can then apply our rules for finding the derivatives term by term. Example 8, find dy dx given that y equals, so part a, we have y equals to 4x cubed plus 2x. So it's not a quadratic, but we just apply the rule to each term. So we start with the first one. Imagine that was a question on its own. So we do 4 times 3, which is 12. And then x squared. Then we look at the next term, 2x. Now this would have been part of a quadratic, the middle term. And remember, if you've got something x, it just becomes a constant. So it's just going to become plus 2. Part b, we have y equals x cubed plus x squared minus x to the power half. So dy dx, we start with the x cubed. So we're going to multiply by 3, take 1 away from the power. So we end up with 3x squared. The x squared, well, that will become 2 and then x, so just 2x. So remember, with quadratics, the squared terms just become um, an x term, which is what we've got here. Now this one, we just use the, the normal rule for finding a derivative. So we're going to multiply this by a half. So we'll have negative a half x. Then we take one away from the power. So power negative a half. Now this last term here, we could, if we wanted to, write it as either negative 1 over 2 to the power or 2x to the power half or we can write it as negative 1 over 2 root x. Now there's no need, unless the question says that it needs to be in a particular format, just leave it like this. And in part c, what we have is y equals 1 third x to the power half plus 4x squared. So we're going to multiply a third by a half. That will be 1 sixth. So for dy dx, we'll have 1 over 6 x to the power negative a half, once we've taken 1 away from a half. Then for this bit here, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and that just becomes 8x. Example 9, what we need to do is to differentiate these different uh, algebra expressions here. Now, it doesn't say y equals or f of x equals. Um, I'm going to use y equals, so y equals 1 over 4 root x. Now, I need to write this in a form that I can differentiate. So this is the same as y equals a quarter times by x to the power negative a half. Because down here, that's x to the power half. And then bring it to the top, or because it's underneath, it needs to be power negative a half. So we need to get it in a form that we can differentiate. So we'll have dy dx is equal to, then we need to do negative a half times by a quarter. So that's negative one eighth x. And then we take one away from a half. Now we want to leave these powers as fractions. So that'll be minus three over two. Part b we have y equals x cubed times by 3x plus 1. So we're going to have to expand the brackets on this. So we'll have y equals 3x to the power 4 
plus x cubed. Now it's in the right form for us to differentiate. So 3 times 4 makes 12, so we'll have 12x cubed, take 1 away from the power, plus, and then the 3 will become here, times by 3, so plus 3x, take 1 away from the power, squared. And then lastly, part C, we have y equals x minus 2 over x squared. Again, we need to write it in a form that we can differentiate. They're both over the same denominator, so I can write x over x squared minus 2 over x squared. That can be simplified. So the x over x squared is the same as 1 over x, but I want to write that as x to the power minus 1. And the 2 over x squared, I want to write as 2x to the power negative 2. Now I can differentiate and find dy dx. So I'll multiply by negative 1, so I'll have minus x to the power negative 2, take 1 away from the power. Then here I'm going to have negative 2 times by negative 2, so that becomes plus 4x, take 1 away from the power, to the power minus 3. Now we'll quickly look at alternative, alternative ways of writing the answer. So for a, we could, if we want, wanted, write this as uh, negative 1 over 8 times by x to the power 3 over 2, if we took the negative power to the bottom. Then this last one at the bottom here, we could write this as negative 1 over x squared. Let's make sure that negative is separate. And then plus 4 over x cubed. So these are alternative ways of writing our solution if we need to. So you should now be able to do exercise 12e on pages 267 to 268 of the textbook.